Hello guys, welcome back to my another logo animation tutorial, in this tutorial, we are going to see, how to create, silver particle logo animation in After Effects, so without any wait, let's see the preview. You can see, here I have already imported my logo and flare media file, you can download this flare, from the link given in the description. So without any wait, let's start creating logo animation. Create a new composition. Name it as logo animation. As usual set width and height to 1920 by 1080 pixels. Make sure frame rate is set to 30 frames per second. Here we will set time duration to 5 seconds. Perfect. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as background. Now in effects and preset, search for gradient ramp. Add it to background layer. Let's set the start color. Here you can set any color you want for your background layer. Let's adjust start ramp, and end ramp. Perfect. Change ramp shape to radial ramp. Set ramp scatter value to 500. Now, here we need to add our logo to the timeline, let's do it. Here you can scale your logo if needed. Let's pre-compose the logo layer. We will name it as logo. Here we will rename this logo composition, to logo edge. Now in effects and preset, search for find edges. Let's add it to logo edge composition. For find edge, select invert. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise, add it to logo edge composition. For fractal noise, change contrast to 1050. Make sure you are at start of the timeline. Now create a keyframe for brightness. Set brightness to minus 350. At 3 seconds. Change brightness to 300. At start of the timeline. Create keyframe for evolution. At end of the timeline. Change evolution to 1 rotation and 40 degrees. Change blending mode to multiply. Now for logo edge composition, change mode to add. You can see the preview. Perfect. Now, in effects and preset, search for tint. Add tint to logo edge composition. For logo edge composition, at one second, press T to bring up the opacity. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timeline, change opacity to 0%. Perfect. You can see the preview. Now, here we need to create duplicate of logo edge composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate. 
Let's rename it to Logo Blur Edge 1. For fractal noise, let's remove brightness keyframe, here we need to set brightness value to minus 250. Now, in effects and preset, search for directional blur, add it to logo blur edge composition. For directional blur, change direction to 30 degrees. Now at 1 second, change blur length to 130. Create a keyframe for blur length. Now at start of the timeline, change blur length to zero. You can see the preview. Now in effects and preset, search for curves, add it to logo blur edge composition. Here you need to adjust the curves as shown. Perfect. Now create duplicate of Logo Blur Edge 1 composition. For Logo Blur Edge 2 composition, change blur direction to 90 degrees. Now create duplicate of Logo Blur Edge 2 composition. For Logo Blur Edge 3 composition, change blur direction to 0 degrees. Now, let's add Logo Composition to the timeline. Let's rename it to Logo Particle. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to logo particle composition. For fractal noise, change contrast to 880. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for brightness. Change brightness to minus 320. Now at 3 seconds. Change brightness to 600. Now at start of the timeline, create keyframe for evolution. Now at end of the timeline. Change evolution to one rotation and 50 degrees. Now change blending mode to multiply. Now in effects and preset, search for shift channels. Add it to logo particle composition. Change take alpha from alpha to luminance. For logo particle composition, in effects and preset, search for CC particle system 2. Add it to logo particle composition. Now at 2 seconds. Create a keyframe for birth rate. Change birth rate to 750. Now go 5 frames forward. Change birth rate to 0. Change longevity to 1. In producer. Change radius X and radius Y to 100. In physics, change animation to direction. Change gravity to zero. Change velocity to minus 0 0.2. Change resistant to 8. Change extra to 0 0.1. In particle, change particle type to tri-polygon. Change birth size to 0 0.01. Change death size to 0 0.01. Change size variation to 100. Change opacity map to oscillate. Select source alpha inheritance. Change max opacity to 100. Now change birth and death color. Now at one second, 
press T to bring up the opacity. Create a keyframe for opacity. Now at start of the timer line, change opacity to 0. Now at 2 seconds and 10 frames. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at 3 seconds and 10 frames. Change opacity to 0. Now select all created keyframe. Change keyframe assistant to easy ease. You can see the preview. Perfect. Change logo particle composition mode to add. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as particles. Now add CC particle system 2 to particle solid layer. Change birth rate to 2. Change longevity to 1. In particles, change particle type to faded sphere. Change birth and death size to 0.02. Change max opacity to 100%. In physics, change velocity to 0. Change gravity to 0. In producer, change radius x to 100. Change radius y to 100. Let's change birth and death color. For particle layer, change mode to add. Now let's add lens flare to timeline. For lens flare, change mode to add. Now adjust the position of flare according to logo. In effects and preset, search for tint. Add it to lens flare media file. Here you can set any color for your flare. For lens flare layer, press T to bring up opacity. Add 2 seconds. Create keyframe for opacity. Now at end of the timer line, change opacity to 0%. Now let's create a new solid. Name it as noise. Now in effects and preset, search for fractal noise. Add it to noise layer. For fractal noise, Change fractal type to turbulent smooth. Change contrast to 130. Change brightness to 15. Now in transform, uncheck uniform scale. Let's increase the scale height. Change scale height to 5000. Now at start of the timeline. Create keyframe for offset turbulence. Now at end of the timer line, change offset value to 1500. You can see the preview. Now let's change complexity to 2. Now let's recompose it. Name it as texture. Now select Logo Edge Composition. Press Ctrl plus D to create duplicate of Logo Edge Composition. Place it above Texture Composition. For Logo Edge 2 Composition, change Blending Mode to None. Now for Texture Composition, change Track Mat to Luma Mat Logo Edge 2. Now in Effects and Preset, search for CC Glass. Add it to Texture Composition. In surface, 
Change bump map to logo edge 2. Change property to alpha. Change softness to 25. Change displacement to minus 300. Let's set height to 40. In light, change light type to point light. Adjust light position. Now in effects and preset. Search for CC blob eyes. Add it to texture composition. In blowiness. Change blob layer to logo edge 2. Change property to alpha. Change softness to 3. Change cutaway to 0. In light, change light type to point light. Change light height to 100. Now we need to remove this contrast part from our logo layer, select logo edge 2 composition. At 2 second, create keyframe for contrast. Now at end of the timeline, change contrast to 100. Now again create duplicate of logo edge composition. Place logo edge 3 composition above logo edge 2 composition. Now in effects and preset, search for glow. Add it to logo edge 3 composition. Change glow threshold to 10. Change glow radius to 50. Now in effects and preset, search for fast blur. Add it to logo edge 3 composition. For fast blur, change blurriness to 5. Now here we need to change all composition to 3D except particle layer and background layer. Now create a new camera. Now create new null object. Change it to 3D. Now for camera layer, parent it to null object. Now for null object, press P to bring up position. Now at 3 second, create a keyframe for position. Now at start of the timeline, change position value for z-axis as shown. Change it to near about 2600. Now let's see the preview. Perfect, here our silver particle logo animation intro is created. Thank you guys for watching this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, then make sure to like and share this video, and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you.